Hello everybody, what is up, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 4. In the last episode, we had rescued Yukiko already, so we were basically just spending time doing social links and, you know, boosting ourselves up and stuff like that, eating at Aya's a lot. Can I go out? Oh. Oh. Never mind, Ojima's here, I can't. Oh, I have to watch the, the Midnight Channel anyways. It's midnight. It's like 1 a.m. for me. <laughs> Fog is set in. Wait, how are we supposed to watch Midnight Channel? It's not raining. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Yukiko has been rescued, it seems the killer has been thwarted this time. Thwarted, I say. Excellent. Meanwhile, at the fog shrouded shopping district. What? What's going on at the fog shrouded shopping district? Whoa, there was like a flash on my screen. Gosh darn it. Why is there always visual glitches? Whenever I decide to record. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, morning. Um, yes, I I'm better now. I'll be coming to school again, so that that'll be nice. <laughs> I wonder if I, I wonder if I can play Danganronpa with the controller. I don't know. I was thinking about recording Danganronpa as well, because I also have Danganronpa. I caused everyone some real trouble. And I've kind of been looking for an excuse to replay Danganronpa. I'm sorry. Oh, no big deal. I haven't even acknowledged what's going on. Isn't quite right. What I mean to say is, thank you. Oh, yeah, show sure. for show, sure. no problem. Yukiko seems more cheerful than before. My mother's back to work already. Nice. The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. Now that that bitch is gone, I mean, uh... I wonder if I was trying too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. Yeah, Ever you don't have to do everything incident, all yourself. I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. Oh, that's good. I... It's still kind of embarrassing. Yeah, I know. We talked about your late lacy un unmentionables. You guys saw everything. Even the things I didn't want to admit. Yep. Eh, that's only one part of you. I'd like to believe that. Yukiko! Oh, it's Chie! Yeah, it's well, Chie. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Yukiko has come back as energetic as ever. It's a good thing you were able to save her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <sighs> boy. Hmm? Yukiko is on his back. That's good. I'm glad to I'm glad the only cutie in class was able to return when you guys agree. Whoa, bro. Please! Oops, I mean, all of you are cute. No, really. Er, please don't tell your parents that I said that, will ya? I don't want to get arrested. I mean, in trouble. Ahem, anyway, I have an interesting topic for you today. Close your books and take a look at the handout. Sounds like you... Sounds like a good time to pick on the city boy, you here. Oh, okay, great. What is the greatest canyon in the solar system? Uh. 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 Um. Uh. It, it's. I oh it's definitely not the Grand Canyon. I can tell you that for sure. 
I've never heard of these other two. Is it this one? Well, you really are from the sea. Well, I guess that doesn't have anything to do with it. Huh. The Valus Marineris on Mars is ten times bigger than the Grand Canyon. Mars is awesome. Oh, yeah, I got it right. Sweet, I guess, and I got it right. The last few questions I've been getting wrong, because I'm just, like, not familiar with this game. When when it comes to Persona 4, though, like, the OG Persona 4, I get all the answers right all the time. Because <coughs> I've memorized them. But these questions are different for me, because this is Persona 4 Golden. Mars is also host... Mars also hosts Olympus Mons, the largest mountain in the solar system. So it has both the largest mountain and the largest canyon? Jeez. Both the highest mountain and the greatest canyon are on Mars. Isn't that useful information? Since you got me s started on canyons, I'm gonna cover some material on their characteristics. You gave the correct answer. Yay! And that's why we're going to colonize Mars and turn it into a new Earth. Before the old Earth burns up and dies. I mean, um... I'm joking. Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells so good! Mmm, yum. These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. How much longer do I have to wait on this? Um, 15 minutes. It still needs a few minutes. Jeez, what is with so all these graphical here? glitches? Oh, yeah. We were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yeah? Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? Anything at all? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. Oh, that's just wonderful. You're already suffering from Alzheimer's. I think <coughs> doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. I'm just joking. My memory is horrible, too. That's why sometimes I'll say stupid things. Or sometimes I'll repeat the same thing a second time, not realizing I've already said it. Oy, it sucks. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? Yeah, exactly. The police are probably looking for It'd witnesses. Have to be but Crazy. I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. Yeah, that'd be ridiculous. I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. Yeah. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. Yeah, by the way, why is it so damn yellow? Oh my gosh, why are so many graphical glitches right. happening? Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. Oh really, we are? Why is it so dang yellow right now? I get that the sun is low, but okay, whatever. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Yeah, so is Jay. Could you lend us a hand? Huh? Um. Sorry, I don't know why I get quiet. I don't know why I get quiet whenever I'm answering those questions. I'm just like thinking about it in my head and not realizing, oh shit, I'm supposed to be saying stuff. I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. Jeez. Violent. Let me help too. I want to know why this. What? Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. She should have a persona now, too. 
All right. Then let's all work together and catch this asshole. Yeah. You can go join the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. And she is, oh my gosh, she is one of the best party members. Like, hands down, she is one of the best party members. Not gonna lie. She is super, super good. Because, uh, she, she specializes in fire spells, which is alright. But, her main, like, her primary stat that she focuses in is, uh, magic. And, uh, she usually has a lot of SP, and also, uh, her other focus, aside from fire magic, is healing. She is the primary healer. She's our white mage, so to say. Except for she's not white. She's, uh, well, I mean, she is white, but... Her outfit is red. She's, uh, she, yeah, she's like a red mage. Yeah, we'll go with that. She's like a hybrid red mage that specializes healing and only fire magic I don't even know what I'm saying I, I need to shut up and just continue I'm wasting time investigation team social link has re reached level two <coughs> sorry I'm out of breath here I'm like huh. winded right now power to create personas of the full arcane has grown but how are we gonna find them we don't have a single lead yet yeah we don't have a lead I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? Yeah. So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second was Saki Konishi. Senpai. Third, Senpai. Was what do they all have in common? Uh, well, there it all surrounds that one announcer lady. Oh, wait, hold on. That's right. They're all female. This sicko's targeting only women. How dare he target females? Now that's unforgivable. It's gotta be some kind of pervert. I realized as soon as I said it too. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Yeah. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki Senpai both had connections to that announcer. That's true. Then does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? Oh, I think geez. that's a safe assumption for now. Well, that's what I was gonna say, yeah, because she was saying at the end. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that midnight channel? That happened mm. right before Yukiko was kidnapped, too! Yeah, it's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. Hmm. Kinda like a ransom note. Yeah, that's true. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. And then as soon as the person gets put inside the TV, the image becomes super clear. And the shadow becomes way, way, way more, like, clear. And you get a cutscene. Seems that the Midnight Channel is your only means of predicting who will be kidnapped next. You must remember to watch it on the next rainy day, rainy night. By the way, aren't those done by now? <sighs> yeah, I mean, we've been staying here for a while. Well, They're probably right. cold and Show soggy. Time. How are they steaming hot? They must be cold. They should be cold and steamy hey, by I now. Try just a little bit of that. Just hands up, the soba pal. Go get your own if you want some. Yeah, that's true. Just go get your own. Okay, just one bite, got it? Bad, bad choice. Hey, I only said one bite! The delicious aroma from the udon bowl is drifting your way. <coughs> you <wanna laughs> She's like, some? huh? Uh, just try a bite.
This cutscene is ridiculous. It's so good. The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect. Are you talking while eating? It's too delicious to stop eating. Oh my god, what is wrong with us? What the hell are you doing? Whoops. Sorry. You ate everything. Yep. My fried tofu. Sorry. I love tofu. You guys understand what this means? Sorry. Wait, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I'll buy you steak. It'll be on me. Uh, you hear me? The very best. Steak? Duh. As soon as he says steak, she's like, steak? My tofu. Come on, Yukiko. There's steak in it for us now. Yeah. They ate our instant noodles, and now we get steak out of it. It's a fair trade. We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? What kind of instant noodles has tofu in it, though? As long as it isn't too fatty. It's steak. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. That's why he literally like, he offered. What wouldn't be too fatty, fillet? Ooh, fillet sounds nice and expensive. Fuck you. Filet, filet, filet mignon. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Oh yeah, right. Sorry. Well, we're only paying for two people, Man, so. Talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Wow, yes, nice. We got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh well. Steak is steak. Steak is steak. That is a Che classic. It's far from a filet steak, though. Oh, shut up. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? Yes, it. it is. I'm still mad. I wanted my tofu. So back on topic, I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. Oh my gosh, we're just still talking about this? It seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Mizuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. So? That doesn't prove shit. Really? Okay, wait, maybe it does. About this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target Senpai? Because she found the body. It was to shut her up. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. What's in those bowls that are up above the stakes? But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Mm. Oh, they updated the menu. It's Itachi. Huh? Oh, is, is he... That detective? Is he gonna order some steak? <laughs> hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. You're not what? Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Oh, cool. Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Same thing. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases. But we can't leave it at that. Oh. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki Senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dodgy. Of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. <coughs> yeah. The killer was trying to silence her. There might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. 
which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. What do you Wait, mean? Are you listening to all that crap? Me and my big mouth. We already uh, deduced all that. Any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. See ya. Yeah, sure. Well. By the way, are you, you two right, gonna Joseph. eat your steak? The police are. To ah! My steak's getting cold. Exactly. Can you shut up about the steak for five seconds. D That's all she cares about. You waited for the two to finish eating, then decided to go into the TV world. What? Really? Oh, okay. Cool. Wow. This really is inside the TV. Yes. It's but you don't have your glasses yet. And it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, oh I how, see. how nice. Good boy. Well, this bear's part He's of the reason we her. want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Yeah, I knew it. See? You had the glasses for Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. <coughs> You're yeah. right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. Wow. I've lived Amazing. Here for a long time. How do you do that? So I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. <laughs> Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. Wow. You didn't know? Of course not. How could we know? <laughs> Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? Tell you delicately moving his fingertips. What am I even looking at? He's moving his stubbles. Ow! Hmm? You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Screwed up on? Ooh. <laughs> Y Yukiko? What the fuck am I looking at right now? <laughs> How do I look? Looks great! <laughs> do you like that one, Yuki-chan? Yes. I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Uh. Oh, no you don't! How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Yeah. Definitely. Aw, too bad. So, the lenses with the swirly whirlies don't work. So, all you see is fog. Here, Chie, your turn. Oh, gosh. Man. Alright, fine. Jeez. How'd it come to this? <laughs> nice. Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. Yep. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? Nice Dang. work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. The Teddy's face. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. 
Yeah, it, it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach! <laughs> okay, it wasn't that funny. <coughs> you decided to go back for today. It is pretty funny, though, the first time you the see fourth it. fourth and the fifth. What about... I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Oh. Really? <coughs> During the middle of a murder investigation? Really? Oh, dang, so you could tell. She knows. What, you don't believe me? No. It's always cancelled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not every year. It was the last year, and then the year before that, and then the year before. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Cool. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? That's what he was saying. Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. A two-day trip? Or one, basically one-day trip, actually. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right. All right. Then we need to think of some place to go. Because you basically... You, you want to come along with us? You'd set out on, on the first day, get to wherever you want to go, spend time there. The next day... Or, and you'd have to stay at, like, a hotel or something. And then the next day spend some more time doing something else and then uh the rest of the day you go back yeah um yeah i want to come yeah. of course oh, let's all go together of course <laughs> looks like nanako wants us all to go sounds good you'll be going on an outing with the dojimas during the long holiday let's bring box lunches yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Oh, hmm. so I have to do it? Well, it'll work out. <coughs> That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Box lunches! How do you not know how to cook Dojima-san? Well, I guess he is a cop. Or, yeah, he is a police officer, not... Chef, not a coast, please. You've been selected to pack the family's box lunches. All right, I'm gonna put some yuhus and some lunchables. <laughs> All right, well, with that, that was a lot of uh, plot just now. Man, dude, that took way longer than I thought it would. So with all that out of the way, I think I'm just going to call it for this episode, so see you guys next time. Bye!